Hey guys, thanks for joining me, and if you like what you see, please subscribe. Hello peoples, welcome to Sharp Ends. I'm really excited to share with you this Olight Classic Mini. A review of this because I just got back from camping and I used it the whole time and it has a lot of really cool features which I think makes this a winner. It has a couple of drawbacks too and it's only for a certain certain types of camping but all that being said I think you should really look into this. I'm also going to explain some of the differences between this and the classic uh, pro and the classic light. So first off let's just take a tour of this one light okay. So Olight came out with this, I believe this is new this year. What I find really intriguing by this light, and the first thing that caught my eye is that it has a rheostat dimmer on the top of it. By that, I mean when you click it on at this lowest level right here, that's only five lumens, okay? And then as you turn it up, it gets brighter and brighter and brighter. And then it switches over to a white light, which goes all the way up when you go to the supercharged mode to 300 lumens, which is super bright, okay? This has a clip at the top built in. Now, I've added this, added this extra clip, but it comes with one built in. And I'll tell you a little bit more why I added this and how I use that. The lockout mode is super simple. You just click it twice and a red light comes on and now you're locked out. So super easy to lock out and then click it twice again, and now that light turned green, and you're good to go. The next time you turn it on, it's going to turn on with you. It has this reflective cone in the middle, and it has these LEDs that come down here, and it actually has these filaments that light up, as well as at the very top, it has these other little guys up here too, so that it comes out two ways out of the bezel, out the side here and then down through the top. It has a classic look, which is awesome. It has a quarter inch screw in base, so you can put in some kind of tripod if you need to or want to. You can also just balance it here. It actually has these little nubbins to, to balance and it balances pretty well. It is uh, fairly top heavy though, because the battery resides in the top. So sitting at the bottom of a tent is probably going to get knocked over real fast, but just sitting like this is fine. And then, you know, obviously clipping it to the top of the tent is no problem. Most O-lights have this uh, proprietary magnet at the bottom here that clips on here, right? And that just goes on there, and then that's how you charge it, right? This actually uses a USB-C. It has one USB-C port, and it has a 45 100 milliamp battery and it comes with a USB to USB cord. This is also a battery bank and a charger and it charges pretty darn fast, I gotta tell you. So uh, in 30 minutes, it charges rapidly. It's I think it's 16 watts uh, of power or 16 volts of power um, to charge, which on my phone comes up as charging rapidly. It charges about 20% in 30 minutes, and it's enough battery in there to charge up your battery most of the way, 90 to 100%, depending on what time, type of phone you have and what type of battery it, it has. It's going to charge it almost all the way up if you want to, or like I said, in 30 minutes, it'll give you 20% of battery life, which is, which is great, and it'll keep going. At 4,500 milliamp battery will last you on the low mode, on the 5 lumen mode. It says it will last you 60 hours. Uh, I used it in the middle, somewhere in the middle, but not on white, almost the entire camping trip. And I used it for four hours a night, maybe sometimes only two hours, sometimes six hours, but on average for six nights, I had no problem. And I charged my phone a little bit off of it and it was still kicking when I got home. The light on the back here, is green. When you turn it on, it turns green. That means that it is uh, charged anywhere between 30 and 100%. When it turns red, it means that it's just gone below 30%. And when it starts flashing red, it means that it is below 5%. Now, this is the Mini. It also comes in a light version and a pro version. What that means is there's actually a base here, like the base of a classic lantern, okay? Um, the light version of it, it uh, doesn't recharge. It's just and uh, it it just uses four AA batteries, which might be fine if you are concerned about that. I I wouldn't I wouldn't get it though. This this is sixty dollars. 
the light version with the base and takes four rechargeable batteries costs 75 and, and the pro version with the base rechargeable with i think it's like a 1200 milliamp battery which should be able to charge your phone almost three times um and is at 18 watt so very fast charging um cost a hundred dollars that one starts at 10 lumens and goes up to 300 uh but what should last you tons and tons of days like full you know yeah it should last you forever uh it's also gonna weigh more because the battery is more uh so let's talk about weight this does weigh a little bit um, the battery in here is fairly large and I wouldn't necessarily backpack with this if I was ultra light camping. Okay. Uh, however, for car camping or for having on your sailboat or for having as an emergency light around your house, this is hard to beat. Um, I, I really like this. This is the O-Lantern Classic Mini. Now I also have this guy, but this doesn't recharge. I mean, it's the O-Lantern Mini and it's great. Um, and it has a red mode. This doesn't have a red mode, but you know that it, it's it's white light is very white the lumens on the the kelvin range on this is probably around 5000 this the Kel, the kelvins on this is 2000 on the low mode for that filament look 2000 kelvin almost nothing no leds are made these days uh flashlights with that low of a kelvin rating and then the white light is 5000 kelvins and it's great that you have that versatility for both. I find that great. Like when I used this white light a couple of times when I lost something in the tent and I would turn it on to the white so I could look around real fast. And I hung this from the top of my tent, um, through the, one of those little loops that they had, right? Most of the time I just had it here on a low setting just to, uh, you know, when I set up my tent, I'd keep it on the really low setting so I could get into my tent and, you know, know where things are. Uh, and then my daughter was in the tent and, uh, you know, we kept it in the medium range. So probably at around, uh, I think that this, this low guy goes from five lumens to a hundred lumens. Um, we kept it at around 50 lumens, say. Uh, almost the entire time for her to be able to read and just sit in the tent comfortably uh, before she went to bed. Um, so yeah, that I find all great. You know, um, the the uh, the all, I will say that the 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 pro, the one with the base, that costs a hundred dollars, so it costs forty more dollars. Also has two charging ports on it rather than just the one charging port on it. Um, yeah, so uh, would I get this? $60. This is pretty expensive. Olight has sales at Christmas, and they have a summer sale in the middle of the summer. So if you don't want to spend the $60 for us, which I think it's absolutely worth, considering it's a battery bank as well and all the different features it has, just wait until one of their sales for either Christmas or the summer sale, and you should be able to pick this up for anywhere from 10 to 20% off of that on their website. Go directly to their website. I do. I am including some links in the bottom of this description as well if you're interested in picking this up now. Oh, and finally, why does this have an extra clip? So I have an extra clip here because this clip is great, but it's on top, right? So sometimes what I like to do is hang this lantern upside down from the top of my tent. And for that, I just used it like this, and that would give me more reflective light. The light would reflect up into the top of the tent and then come down and be even more diffuse and less light down at the bottom of the tent. Um, so I thought that that was cool. Uh, and uh, yeah, but you know, no, no need to because this has a built-in clip right here. Um, but yeah, I just kept this on here as an extra thing. And also it just dangles down a little bit farther and gives me more versatility. It's also supposed to be waterproof. So there's that too. Thanks so much for joining me. If you like this, please leave a like and subscribe if you like more content like this. Also, you can join me on Patreon and become a member or a channel member and help support this channel and this content. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time on Sharp Ends. Bye-bye now.